y'all welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be showing you all my natural hair travel essentials these essentials are perfect for if you're wearing a wash and go a twist style braid out or any type of curly hairstyle and you want to make sure that your curls stay in place and to your liking when you are on vacation or if you're just going away for a weekend trip so let's go ahead and hop into the video my first essential is around some type of moisturizing product if you are going into environments where the climate may change a lot you may need a little bit of moisture sometimes i will throw just as regular size curl stretch pudding in a container or i will use a container small such as this to actually put my creamy products in and you don't need a lot because remember your hair is already going to be moisturized but if it needs just a little bit more moisture and you want to add a few twists to get a little bit more definition at night before the next day you can use your moisturizing products for that my next product I have is an oil and this is actually wild growth hair oil that is actually in this small little container right here and I like to use this for sometimes if I just want to add just a little bit of shine or if you do have those new twists that you put into your hair you actually may want to take them apart by applying a little bit of oil on your hands and things like that also I will use this oil sometimes to actually smooth my edges up you all know that high puffs are kind of like lifesavers when it comes to our curls not laying the way that we want them to lay a puff will always save the day and that is why I also like to have a little bit of gel that is in this small container and sometimes I might even bring just a little bit of edge control in case I am going out to an event or things like that and I just want things to look properly in place I should say in regards to my edges or if I want to have a little slickerization, I will also pair the edge control with the gel. Just a little bit will get the job done. And in regards to making that high puff do its thing, of course, I like to bring these hair utensils. So I have this little mini brush that was sent to me a few years ago. And then I also have my favorite rat tail comb. You all see this comb in almost every single video with the metal tip thingy. So I always like to bring this. And then sometimes I'll bring this little itch brush that I have right here. I really don't use it a lot because these two things kind of really, really get the job done. And of course, in regards to the puff, you all know I like to use these. These are like not those large headband pieces, but are actual large, extra large scrunchies. If I can find a link to these, I will make sure I put them in the description box below, but you can easily find these in Walmart. And I use these to create my high puffs. Now, to be on the safe side, I always pack two. You all know sometimes these things, you can break them easily. If you are rushing or just gripping a little bit too tightly, always bring a backup, okay? Back up, back up. Especially because we know that high puffs save the day. And also, along with those, like sometimes you may want to do like a ponytail up here, a curly ponytail and let the back down and things like that. So I'll also bring a few of these. And these are smaller black scrunchies that don't have those metal pieces. I like to call them ouchless scrunchies. And also, if you have a curly hairstyle, you may actually even want to stretch your hair and you may be able to use these. But I also have another essential that I like to pack with me. And you all have seen these before, especially in my nighttime routines. And these are my colorful scrunchies that I like to use uh, for my curly hair nighttime routine. Sometimes I like to put my hair in a bunch of ponytails to preserve my curls, because sometimes if I do the pineapple method with my scarf, my curls don't last as much as if I would to have used these. So I bring about seven of these. I probably won't need them all, but I like to have more than enough. And to do that, of course, it is also important to bring yourself a few little clips. So I have these two white clips that you all see me use pretty much every single week in my videos. And then I have these right here that tends to like really separate the hair and pull it over like that when you need to create your section. So these clips are very, very, very essential to packing so that you can 
maneuver how you need to when you're styling your hair. And you can't forget a head headband, especially in this very hot and humid weather. Sometimes a headband just getting the hair out of your face and creating a few little baby hairs and a little swoop de doops. This will also save the day if you are focusing on not putting too much tension on your hair with high puffs. So if you are that person that are trying to minimize how many high puffs you do per month, that's me, because I'm a high puff queen, but I know that it causes a lot of tension in the center of my head here opt for a headband. I chose this headband because this headband is a neutral color, which means that it can pair with most of my outfits and not clash with in any of the outfits that I have packed, okay? Also, you can't forget, you cannot forget bobby pins. You never know when you need a hair pin to actually get your hair to lay that you want it to lay. And I'll also bring my larger hair pins as well. You all have seen me use these for like my fro hauls and styles like that. They are much larger than your regular hair pins and I like to pat those as well. For me, it is so important to bring this um, pocket sized mirror because sometimes when I go to other people's houses or if I'm on vacation at a hotel or resort, sometimes another mirror is not accessible and I like to know that the back of my hair is looking all right, okay? So I will do just like this, check out the back of my hair, make sure it looks good and then I will move on about my day. And finally, you cannot forget your protectors. <laughs> this is like so, so important, you all. Like if I forget a bonnet or a head scarf, you have to take me to a store or you have to loan me a clean one that you have, okay? It is a non-negotiable. Our hair is not meant to wallow on cotton pillowcases, okay? But the, that is why the bonnet is so important. However, when I am on vacation or traveling to other people's houses, I will also sleep with this scarf that I like to use for my edges because it minimizes how much maneuvering you have to do in the morning with reapplying products and things like that. So I really, really set my hair overnight so that I'm not taking too much time in the morning with styling my hair because you don't want to hold anyone else up. But also, if you're going to be applying some gel or edge control, you are going to want to set your edges in place the day of. So just also another tip for you all, if you are applying gel and edge control while you're on vacation and you don't want to take up too much time or hold people up, style your hair before you even get in the shower or brush your teeth. Let your hair be the first thing that you do so that while you're brushing your teeth and showering and getting dressed, your hair is setting in place. So that is all that I have for this video, you all. I tried to keep it as minimal and simple as possible, which can be a little challenging to do sometimes because sometimes you just never know how your hair wants to lay for that particular day. However, these collection of items have never failed me thus far. These are items that I have been traveling with for almost my entire natural hair journey. Honestly, before I started putting gel in little bottles like this, I was bringing the big Eco Styler gel with me um, on vacations and trips. And it was taking up a lot of space in my luggage because of course I didn't need all of that gel. Please let me know what you all's travel essentials are when it comes to traveling with your natural hair. And I'll be excited to see with you what you all come up with. As always, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I can't wait to see you in the next one. See ya. Yeah.